Today we are going to discuss about the topic interpedangular fossa. This is a short note question. So, interpedangular fossa is a short note question. We will tell you about First, what is interpedangular fossa? That is the boundaries, contents, and finally, diagram. So, what is interpedangular fossa? It is a rhomboidal space found on the base of the brain. Now, moving on to boundaries. We will tell you interpedangular fossa is a rhomboidal space. So, there are four boundaries. Anteriorly, optic chiasma and optic tract. Posteriorly, pons. And on either side, it is bounded by crust cerebrae of cerebral pedangles. And the next is contents of interpedangular fossa. There are five contents. First is mammillary bodies. They are two small spherical bodies present in interpedangular fossa. And the second is tuber cinerium. It is a raised area of grey matter lying anterior to mammillary bodies. And the third is infundibulum. It is a narrow stalk which connect pituitary gland with tuber cinerium. And the fourth is posterior perforator substance. We have a diagram in the diagram. Pons in the region is a crust cerebrae or angle form. So, that angle is a layer of grey matter called posterior perforator substance. And why it is called posterior perforator substance? Perforator substance in the region is it is pierced by central branch of posterior cerebral arteries. And the fifth content is oculomotor nerve, which emerges immediately dorsomedial to corresponding crust. So, this contents in all of these contents, all of these first letters to see here, we have a pneumonic. Mother Teresa in post office. M for mammillary body, T for tuber cinerium, I for infundibulum, P for posterior perforator substance, and O for oculomotor nerve. Boundaries and contents will be added to you in a neat labeled diagram of interpedangular fossae. Interpedangular fossae is a discussion complete in this point. We will also add a point. Circle of villus is formed around the interpedangular fossa and it lies in the interpedangular subarachnoid system. 